Uh, hey, it's been a while. Uh, how have you been? I've been busy and tired. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I've had this video for like mm, two weeks now, maybe. I've had so much stuff to do regarding this channel and I just cannot find the time nor motivation for it. It's ugly of me. I'm so sorry. Uh, also, did you see how my box arrived? I am lucky my albums didn't take a turn for the worse and just escape before they got to me. Um, so, it's been a while since One We has released this, uh, but I was on an album buying uh, freeze. Uh, Jack, you better back up from those two tuck gum figures. <sighs> in this first half, we are going to talk about the albums. And in the second half, I'm just going to do a little life update. Where I've been. What I'm doing. Now the girls are fighting. Oh my gosh. Okay. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. This is probably not the last time we're going to be interrupted. Just a heads up. But yes, yeah, so we are gonna go over a life update afterwards because I've 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 done too much right now. So I was on a buying freeze in early December, kind of towards January as well, because I obviously wanted to buy Christmas presents and then I had an 80s concert at the end of January, so <gasps> I was trying to be mindful. I also am trying to buy a new car, so albums just aren't top priority. But I am off that freeze as of like a while ago, uh, considering this is like two weeks old. But I ordered One Wee's Studio Wee recording their second demo version uh, or album version, demo album. And then their Planet Nine Voyager mini album, their second one. And I am so happy that these are like the albums I first bought off of my hiatus because they are so gorgeous. Obviously, Studio We Recording, it came out a while ago <laughs> and I've been like that behind, but it's been hard seeing everybody have like their trade and sales for this album and everything looks so gorgeous everything i love the photo shoot concepts i love the photo cards and the postcards i wasn't gonna collect the postcards because they're an awkward dimension to fit in a binder and i just really hate them but they're so cute i could not say no so this studio we recording, they don't have like a digital release of it, I think, maybe on YouTube. Um, so you actually have to use the CD. I have not done that. <laughs> um, but they did release a music video for Star and that one sounds so beautiful. I really love it. And then other things on here is like instrumentals different versions of previous songs just anything that like would go on a demo album i suppose i wish they would promote these um more uh they kind of just like release the demos and then go into like another album release which i have no problem with but nobody else releases demo albums so it would be like a cool thing to promote but anyways i digress uh so I ordered this from K-Town for you and I usually have a problem with them not shuffling orders when I place a multiple quantity of a single version. Uh, I have no faith in them. But I think because this album came out a while ago, I think we're okay. Also, I'm sorry for that noise. My cat is like clawing at the carpet and I'm gonna let him do his thing because he's been through a lot as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so my postcard, I pulled Kenkyun, and then my, uh, photo card, I pulled Younghoon and Dongmyung, and uh, this outfit for him, oh my gosh, his postcard 
is the single reason why I decided to start collecting the postcards. Um, so yeah, and also the um, the concept for the photo card that Younghoon has, where it's like the heart on the cheeks. They're so such a cute. I love it when everybody has like the same concept. Look at that. Uh, so our postcard is Harin. And then our like little cheek heart card is Kankyun. Honestly, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, mate. Um, and then we pulled Younghoon's other version photo card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about Planet Nine really quick um, because I did edit this video down to be just like a little bit short um, and I don't want to like just sit here and say I pulled this member I pulled that member because I really I really don't want to do that and be honest I really don't uh, so Planet Nine Voyager I have listened to this album so many times but my problem lately is when I listen to albums is I'll just play the album and not actually look at the title track for what is playing or the title yeah title whatever I just confused myself I don't look at the title of what I'm listening to so I tried I've tried mm, my dog is either doing something bad I'm not sure so, the title track is Universe, and I'm gonna be real honest, it's not my favorite. From here, I would have to say Trigger is probably my favorite. Trigger and Montage for Rum. Chef's Kiss, I love Rum. It is amazing. Envision and Orbit, I don't remember off the top of my head just looking at this because there have been a few releases I've been listening to since this album, but I do have to say Trigger is gorgeous. Uh, so here are the final pulls for Studio We. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. I am worried though that it's going to be hard to trade this album specifically. It's already hard to trade one We. But now I'm behind and I know I said I wasn't going to buy like multiple versions of the same album because I have so many extra albums lying around. But with one way, I feel like it makes sense. It's cheaper to buy the CD than buying like all the stuff I'm missing. But then I run into the problem where I can't trade. So was it really worth it? Not sure. I don't know. I think I've only traded one photo card so far. I have gotten back into trading, but I haven't been like searching for it. I've just let people come to me. Um, but yeah, so here is the unboxing for Voyager. Honestly, I really love this packaging. I love that besides the demo albums, at least they're the same packaging and same height as like each other. These like mini albums being the same height honestly it's so gorgeous it's so nice on the shelf and i really like how whatever they do with this sticker whoever makes the sticker whoever does what type of magic to it that it comes off without one ripping the sticker itself and two leaving residue on the album or like damaging the album it's so good I'm gonna need other K-pop companies. If they're gonna put stickers on shit, they need to figure out what RBW is doing because these stickers are superior. Um, and again, like the other albums, I really wish, my wallet doesn't wish this, my heart wishes it. I wish when we would have different version albums, when that happens, I'm probably gonna like regret ever wishing for such a thing, but I don't know I wish there was because like they do a couple different like concepts in here and I just feel like it would look nicer and at least one to you know three different versions again my wallet would hate what I'm saying so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wish for it too hard because one time I wished for like extra versions of pentagon albums and they gave us different member version covers so that was awful honestly both of these albums well i can't i can't say anything about the demo album because i've only heard star um both of these albums so good worth a listen voyager specifically i don't know why i kept saying both of these voyager is 100 percent worth a listen one way is always worth a listen 
they are so good if you're into like bands I don't know a good time sometimes like a chill time sometimes like a little upbeat time they're just really good they're just a really good group I really hope this year I know COVID's still a thing but with more people like touring I think one us is going on tour as well so can we take one we on tour too please I really really want to see them live I want to experience their concert live all of these instruments these vocals I just want to be in the same room that's all I'm asking for so now I'm just gonna go into the little life update where I've been, what I've been doing. If you don't care, you could skip to the end to see my pools. Spoiler alert, underwhelming. Underwhelming. <laughs> um, so where have I been? Like I said, I've been on an album freeze. So in my album freeze, also, I'm sorry if you could hear ruckus. My cats have the zoomies now. Uh, so they are doing their thing. And I'm not going to stop them because you'll figure out why soon. Uh, but I didn't have, I went on a buying hiatus, so I did have content to upload. I was like repurposing extra albums that I didn't need. Um, quite a few other things I forgot off the top of my head, to be honest, it's been a while. Um, and then I've come off my trading freeze. Um, I started trading again. I've put things away in my binder. I've done a lot because I wasn't like actively buying a lot of albums. I still haven't bought a lot of albums. I felt like I didn't have too much content to work on and then I got extra busy. I thought this is my third year in um, account. Well, it's my third season in the accounting team and usually Christmas is like the peak of season and then accounting has January and February to like wrap up the whole year for like the money honey you know stuff like that uh so it's still busy for us and i didn't expect it to be this busy if i'm quite honest uh so i haven't had time to do much and then on top of not buying albums right away i came back from the 80s concert it was incredible i did not film a single thing well i did film things but i intended to to be a TikTok vlog, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I surely did not do that. Uh, so yeah, that's awful. But 80s is such a good time. I know I said before that I was thinking about issuing a refund on that ticket so I could go see twice. I did intend to do that and then I missed out on the refund period time, so I wasn't able to do that. Uh, but I had honestly a great time. I am very jealous about the people who got to go see twice this week because that's all my For You page has been. Um, but seeing 80s go from a little theater in LA to the forum was incredible. And they have grown so much with like their stage presence. They had amazing stage presence. But with such a huge stage, the lighting, everything, it was so good. I'll talk about it more um, in a different unboxing because we did go to Music Plaza. But I just, I'm happy that I went. I'm still sad that I missed out on twice. But I am very grateful that I was able to see ATs. So, I did that. But before I left to go see AATs, I may or may not have gotten a dog. And that is where the majority of my free time has gone. I lost my dog in 2020. I love big dogs. Uh, we have a small dog and we have two cats. In May, I got a kitten. So I have a big cat and a little cat and a small dog. But I love big dogs. And this year, I just felt ready to get a new dog. Me and my mom talked about it that we shouldn't. But <sighs> something, something bit me. And then my sister, she had a co-worker's friend whose dog had puppies. And I was going to snatch one up. Until she says she wanted like $600 for it. I said, no, thank you. We're broke. 
I don't want a puppy that bad. It's fine. But when I was getting my hair done, our hairdresser said that one of her other clients was trying to look for somebody to rehome her six-month-old puppy. And she showed us a picture of him. I'm not joking. He looks exactly like my dog that passed away. And I don't know. I think it's weird. I, don't, I think it's weird. It's like I'm replacing him, but I really, I didn't mean for it. It's just that like a big dog was available and free. So I wanted him. Unfortunately for me, this six month old puppy, who's basically full grown at this point, came with zero manners and not even knowing his name. So my free time, if I'm not at work, I am trying to train a dog. I've never trained a puppy before. I feel like I'm raising a child and I'm going to be real honest. This life is not for me. <laughs> I cannot wait until he chills out. I think he'll be like the best dog when he chills. But right now he has too much puppy energy. He's going after the cats. It's a nightmare. And because of that, when I come home, I spend extra time with him. He needs to go out all this time. I don't have time for YouTube anymore, which is awful because I have so many things like piling up that I'm like trying to do. Um, yeah. And when I'm not training him like late at night, the last thing I want to do is be on the computer. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't say that because what I'm about to say, I'm exactly on the computer. I don't want to be working because my office doesn't have uh like thick curtains or blinds it has a sheer curtain so if i were to film or be in here people could see me from the outside totally my fault i should be like you know working on that but i haven't um so i try to only be in here when it's daytime and because when i'm working with a puppy during the daytime I don't have time for this so today it's been a few weeks since I've had him he's honestly working my last nerve he's lucky he's adorable uh, but since I'm like trying to make time for everything I just decided I'm going to do what I need to do this weekend it's a three-day weekend my mom's home she could help take care of the puppy I'm gonna get this going and yeah so up up on the menu, on the schedule, the schedule, I have a Music Plaza unboxing from the 18th concert, probably a open trades slash put away, and something else. I don't know, honestly. I got my state refund, so I think I want to buy some photo cards, but uh, I probably shouldn't. Um, but anyways, look at these bowls. Awfuls. I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Toodles.